What's up guys, your man Chef from Off The Dome back in for another video, a little tired to get off my third shift. But here I make this quick video about um, basically Black Lives Matter being a political statement and why a lot of people aren't seeing people, uh, police departments across the country get arrested for certain uh, murders on the clock. Let's answer the second one first. I think the reason why a lot of people aren't seeing justice in a form they want to, like actually court, going to court, and actually result in a conviction. Pretty sure all people have to understand, they say justice is blind. They say justice, you know, comes in due time. It doesn't always come. And justice comes in different forms. It's not the standard, hey, you're guilty verdict. Justice means whoever presents the best case. A lot of times the state is going to present a better case I mean, defense of the cops going to defense, uh, present a better case in the prosecution. You know, you do have some called favoritism. A lot of times these prosecutors might not go as hard. Or what happens is since a lot of these cases are blown out of proportion and since the media kind of spends it a lot and make it bigger than what it is, you'll have a lot of jurors and people believing that this actually happened from what they saw on Fox or CNN. And when you get in the courtroom, they show the actual evidence, they show what the actual person done. They're like, oh, damn, well, shit. <laughs> You guys are way over your head. You can't charge this person with second-degree murder. You got to charge them with manslaughter one. So the case winds up getting thrown out, even if they want to come with a, a secondary verdict or whatnot. Then you have to think about people taking cash payments before a trial. I've been saying this for a while. I know people think that you should be paid for your suffering and stuff by the state, which I get. But a lot of people have to understand, stop taking the money before the trial. It's really fucking ups up. It really is. Like, if you want to see actual justice, it almost guarantees you you won't not see a guilty verdict if you take that money before the case. Even after the case, you're still going to get paid, so why not just wait till after the case? And furthermore, if that was the situation, I wouldn't even take the money first. Because, you know, you remember a bunch of white people won't raise money for your GoFundMe anyway. Why not just take the GoFundMe money at the end after your case? Don't take the money before the case. I know some people say, oh, it's to hire better lawyers, to hire better stuff. You don't need a lawyer. The state is the person that's prosecuting this other person. So what you have to worry about is prosecuted. What you have to worry about if the biases. Either you pay that prosecutor off to do a better job, or either you start investigating more into that person. But taking the money straight up isn't the best idea, especially for a high-profile case. It almost guarantees a lesser sentence or a non-guilty verdict. What people start to think is... Well, you know, you already got paid. Didn't you already get justice? And 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 furthermore, it's like after you get paid, your media coverage and stuff goes down anyway, in my opinion. Like, after they pay off the family, it's like, you still hear about that person, but mm, you don't. Like, right now they're trying to redo the whole Breonna Taylor thing, mention her name more and more. They realize posts about her stopped circulating for like two weeks or so. And... <laughs> I have no opinion about some of these murders because, you know, sometimes they're murders, sometimes they're accidents or shootings, sometimes they're manslaughters. I have no comment on hers because I want to see how it plays out in court. But you, a lot of people over their head, they think they're going to get charged with second-degree murder. A lot of people over their head, they think uh, the George Floyd case is going to wind up being in the guilty verdict. A lot of this stuff has been so politicized, so publicized. At this point, I expect it to be some type of shenanigans inside the courtroom and just to see how we react. It happens almost every time. So that's one major thing we need to do as a people. Either if we're going to take the money, make sure we investigate these prosecutors more and the people that's going to be on our side to help convict the cop. Or two, just don't take the money to after the trial. And then finally, the Black Lives Matter is a political movement. Yes, it is. They say, uh, how is black lives politicized? Because everything's politicized. I mean, FDA approved drugs and medicines are politicized. Gay rights has been politicized. Uh, pedophilia has been politicized. <laughs> I don't know how, but it did. Um, COVID-19 is definitely politicized. Global warming is a political issue. Everything you can think of is a political issue. <laughs> I mean, shit, crime is a political issue. These people should have less sentences. These people should have more sentences. This crime is as bad as this one. Abortion. Everything you do in life is a political issue. So when people say, how does Black Lives Matter political? is Everything's political. Because racism is political. Remember, the political spectrum says Republicans are racist. Democrats aren't. We're more accepting. They aren't. We're for gay rights. They ain't. We want to 
have abortions, they don't want to. The vice versa, Republicans are like, you guys are the original racists. We don't want abortions because the Marcus Sanders say you shouldn't want to abort black babies and Jews and um, handicapped people. So remember, guys, don't expect the guilty verdict in a lot of your Black Lives Matter cases. If they take the money first, if you don't look to the prosecutors, and if you let your case be highly politicized in the public, and then when they get to the actual trial, it's a lot more evidence that people didn't see on TV and it makes people sway the decision. And two, everything's politicized. So don't make these posts ask them, why is Black Lives Matter politicized? Because everything's politicized. The fucking food you eat tonight is going to be politicized. Literally, like, well, we need to get back to farm fresh grown stuff. It's nothing wrong with processed food. It makes saves the country money. These are literally political issues. I'm your man, Chef from Off the Dome. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the video. I'm signing off. Peace.